we're doing a little spring decorating with found objects. And the person who found these objects is Jenny of Jenny Elizabeth Designs. Good morning. Good morning. I love what you've done here. I mean, you, you literally, what, went around the house and found things to plant? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> to plant into, I should say, a boot, some toys. Talk about what you've done here. Well, you know, everyone sort of has a hand-me-down falls graph. So why not bring it onto the table? If you have the dishes to match, that's great. Uh, the other boot got cracked, couldn't use it anymore. <gasps> why did, not? What did you do? Did you just This is just full of, there? no, this is actually full of dirt and a little gravel in the ground for some drainage. Uh, I had a couple of old copper stock pots. Love uh, that. Isn't that fun? Yeah. This is actually my favorite. This is uh, Old Bay seasoning. I used to live in New York, and this reminds me of the beach grass, um, crab cakes. So this is... Just a little thing, I might put that out with cocktails. Uh, this is my brother's favorite truck growing up. This was very easy to do as long as you have proper drainage and you're giving it enough water, uh, you're going to be okay. And t this is really cool here. This, this is an antique um, ash bin that I've had for years. I've used it for gift wrap, for ribbon, uh, and I decided this would be a great vessel for some, doing some spring planting. Yeah, it's gorgeous in how it kind of shows off the bulbs in there too. Yeah, sort of nestled towards the top. And then we have this. <laughs> Not everybody has Not something every, like this, no, Jenny. No, this is one of those fun thrift store finds. It reminded me of um, a Jonathan Adler piece. And uh, it's got just a great female face yeah. and some whimsical little flowers Aww. at the top. You never know what you're going to find at the thrift store, That's right? right. <laughs> That's right. You might right. find a piece like this. <laughs> so now Jenny's going to come over here and show us how maybe we could do something like this at home. Absolutely. Start the planting process. Sure. Um, you know, a lot of terracotta pots at home, if you want to use these, they're very easy to paint. Um, if you have something like an old boot or a copper pot, again, the best thing to remember is proper drainage. So we've put um, some, some broken terracotta pots in here. Um, pretty simple. You want a good layer of those. Could you do gravel if you don't have... You absolutely could. You okay. could do gravel. I've seen people use styrofoam peanuts oh, that I've are done left that over. Too. Yep. Whatever you have. Um, and then a little bit of dirt in the bottom. You could use river rocks, a little bit of Spanish moss. Just kind of get that good base layer in there. And then you're going to start with your bulbs. And you want that little beard on the bulb to go down because that's what's going to go into the dirt and grow. Um, a little bit more dirt on top. The thing to remember with forcing the bulbs is a lot of these bulbs need to be cool or dormant for below 45 degrees about 8 to 16 weeks and then you're going to slowly force them into the warmer warmer weather. Um, start them indoors at first and then move them to a fun sunny spot and then a outside. little pop of spring. A little pop of spring. Great ideas. Thanks Jenny. Absolutely.